Satellite imagery has revealed that a large PLAN fleet is departing Ningbo and seems to be heading to Scarborough Shoal to conduct an amphibious landing. Com sub pack has directed Seawolf to conduct a patrol north of the shoal to intercept and destroy the incoming fleet. Thankfully, the waters here are quite deep, allowing Seawolf to evade the enemy rather easily. As Seawolf patrolled the waters for days, Sonar finally picked up the distant fleet slowly heading our way. The order was given to prepare tubes 1 through 8 in all respects. Four Harpoon anti-ship missiles were to be loaded. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard USS Seawolf as we continue our South China Sea series. USS Seawolf was tasked with intercepting a PLAN landing force heading towards Scarborough Shoal, and we have just intercepted it. The surface ships up above are using active sonar every once in a while here. We are deploying the towed array currently, and it does look like there are some sort of aircraft using its dipping sonar out here. I loaded up a fairly balanced loadout, three torpedoes, four harpoons, one Maj, just in case things get really hairy. And it's impressive we have actually lost contact here with a lot of our friends. Let's come up to 50 feet, please. There we go, there's the active sonar. It is kind of loud, which will certainly help us out. Let's start by looking at warships. Kara, I don't think it's a Kara. There's another ship that has a very similar profile. Luhu. That is her. Dealing with all these surface ships is certainly going to be fun. Um, if we do want to fire off our fish, I'm going to drop below this layer at 308 feet. We'll fire from like a depth of 400 feet. And hopefully hit these warships before sending off our harpoons towards the landing ships. Let's reduce speed. Oh dear. Oh no. Rig for ultra quiet. No longer cavitating. Did not even realize I was going 10 knots. Okay. Crazy SM. Oh, Sierra 3 is kind of close. Okay, lower your SM. Okay. Making turns for five. Nine. Picking up quite a few of these guys. Con sonar new contact bearing three two eight designated Sierra four. Sierra four. Con sonar new contact bearing Sierra five. Three, oh boy, two, got a five. lot. Designated Sierra five. Now there absolutely could be submarines out and about, but so we should check for those. And obviously, this very well may be one of the landing ships. Or it could just be a random freighter. Let's check the freighters. Hmm. Consonant yep, merchant. Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Check warships. This is an interesting profile. Yeah. Bang down. Sierra 2 is classified Sierra as. Sierra 5 escort. out here. Probably another escort. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I if there's a line out here. I think there may actually be. There we go. That's our Consonar LST. Sierra five is classified as. Then we have Sierra four out here. Okay. There we go. Got them. All right. Drop down four five zero feet. Zero feet, dive by. Let's get her, get ready to launch. Our torpedoes will have them dog leg as well. Change course, new heading zero six nine. Sea Wolf has dropped down below the layer, and once we drop down, we picked this up, zero six, which I guess is a warship. Let's check. Yeah, another oh, Jango. Sierra Six is classified as escort. We have all of our escorts identified. Let's level out Con rotor amidships. Sonar regained contact on Sierra Two. And our, our solution three, is two, quite eight. poor at the moment, but that is okay. We are going to fire off our torpedoes. Tube One, 
fire. Tube two, one, aye, sir. Tube two, fire. Tube two, aye, sir. Tube three, fire. Tube five, aye, sir. Tube five. Okay, good. We have all three wires, which is great. And I want all of these lovely torpedoes to race out this way, please. And we are going to have them dogleg quite extensively. Let's change my course. New heading. Actually, yeah. Come left two, three, five, three, four, five, please. Seven, helm, I. There we go. Good. All of my torpedoes are going to run out to the east and then come in and target probably mostly the frigates. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing three two nine. We're going to turn our torpedoes in towards the target. There we go. Looking good. We are up at 300 feet. We just picked up Sierra seven. Guessing this is. Uh oh. Could be a submarine. I would not be surprised if there was a sub out here. However, that does not seem to be the case. Let's check freighters. Okay, another LST. Good. Con sonar, Sierra Seven. Is that works. As I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer before I have my torpedoes go active here. Now I could send all three fish towards the LSTs. That is certainly something. We could do. But I would like to take out, like, the Luhu at the very least. Mainly because of her anti-missile defenses. So we take that out, and then we can launch our harpoons relatively easily. Things are shaping up and looking quite good here, I must say. I am going to target these three here. We are going to hit the Luhu, actually, these three here. We're going to hit the Luhu, Sierra 7, and then the Jangdao, uh, the more modern Jangdao. We have this other LST way out here. I could hit all of the warships, but I do think these guys have Sea Whiz. I am not sure, I can't, I can't really see. I wouldn't, I'd be surprised if they didn't, frankly. I should have had more torpedoes here, but that's okay. Another fun opportunity to utilize some harpoons. I may actually load one more and then some TASMs afterwards and just fire them all off. Okay, yeah, Sierra 5 just hanging out right here. Okay, good. They're all in one little task force, which is nice. Sierra 5 is classified you can. As okay, they're all the same class. Let me, uh, you know what? We have this handy-dandy recognition manual. It doesn't tell us. Top speed 16 knots. Yeah, we'll just, you know what? Just hit the warships. Luhu, Jangdao, and then the other Jangdao. Then we'll fire our harpoons off. We have four loaded. Yeah, we got them. Okay, I think they are on to us. It looks like Sierra One is uh, <laughs> going evasive. Let's have let's have this torpedo try to acquire. Her. See, it should be racing up to the surface. Good. Con, fire control. Weapon, Weapon acquired. Fire. There we go. Love to see it. Okay, this torpedo keep heading to Sierra Six. Honestly, this this Jang Dao is not going to be in a position to do much. Let's not waste an entire torpedo on her. She's pretty worthless, frankly. And she's running away. Let's hit... Wow, look at this ship. Okay, let's hit uh, Sierra 4 here. We'll hit Sierra 4, 1, and 6. And that opens up a nice gap for our harpoons. We're going to stay nice and deep at 300 feet for the time being. You know, start loading our uh, TASMs, please. I don't think we're going to need the Moss. <laughs> That's awesome. Like, how stealthy we are. We are way out here, and we are about to absolutely just annihilate this poor task force. 
The Luhu is the biggest threat here. The most competent warship we've been up against. And, uh... Torpedoes running hot straight normal towards the target. Noisemaker, Little noisemaker. Uh, thankfully, we still have sonar contact so we can guide it. Come on. I believe in you. Torpedo. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, there we go. Contact. Impact. One. Last bearing, three, one. Zero. Contact breaking up. All right. Luhu destroyed. Two more torpedoes inbound. Well, well, well. It looks like someone has gathered the courage to turn around and try to hunt us. Okay. Well, in that case, I will oblige and we will send Tube One her way. And let's have you go active, and you keep just going quiet towards CR3. Let's load uh, another TASM into Tube 5 there. And our weapon has acquired the target. Good thing about these Mark 48s, as they are obviously heavyweight torpedoes, it's a one shot, one kill for all these things here. Which is nice. Okay, and now I think you are clear to go active as well. Tube one is going to race up. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. And it's kind of flipping back and forth between the Yukan and the Jangdao, but it looks like she is homing Con, in on CR2 now. Oh, noisemakers, 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 noisemakers. That is not going to save you here, my friend. And look, we can leave combat whenever we want. How far are we? We are over 20,000 yards out. Amazing. Con sonar, noisemaker, noisemakers. Three, okay, one, weapons acquired. One. This one is being thrown off by a noisemaker as well. It's kind of... Nudge it back into the right direction here. Con, fire control, there we go, reacquired. Con, this one's so racing, looking good. Two, eight, nine. Turn it here. There we go, should be able to reacquire relatively easily. Come on. Con, there we go, acquired. Con, there we go, impact. Contact. Sierra 6 is done for. This torpedo. Let's have it come right back towards Sierra 2. Turn it around. Reacquire, please. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, little torpedo. Reacquired. Well, maybe. Maybe? And it lost contact. We've lost contact. Well, in that case, start coming up to 100 feet. Depth one, zero, zero, oh, eight, it got five. it. CR2's been hit. There we go. All warships have been taken care of, to my knowledge. Uh, there is an aircraft out here. I'll get these sonar buoys. They are going to know where we are. <laughs> Real soon. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it be. Let's come up. To 100 feet and get ready to fire our harpoons. We are at depth. Okay. Harpoon number one. I'm gonna go for you, my friend. One away. Aye, sir. Two, two, six. Aye, sir. And three. There we go. All right. Harpoons are away. And you know what? Let's just fire another one. For good measure out here, please. All right, four harpoons away. Wow, look at that. I'm gonna see our harpoon getting launched there. Um, it is now. Oh, they now know where we are. So it's now time to drop back down to. 1,200 feet, please. 
And we hope our harpoons find their targets and are not immediately shot down by any of these PLAN close line weapon systems, which may or may not be on these various LSTs. Kind of thinking, if they were on there, they'd, they'd tell us, right? I mean, this thing, I doubt this one has it, but uh, the UCAN here very might, very well might have some sort of defense systems. It does seem to be armed, but uh, it is possible those guns are just for shore bombardment and such. I will admit my, my knowledge regarding uh, PLAN surface vessels is lacking. There's a helicopter. Hello. Goodbye. Enjoy, uh, enjoy searching for us. You are never going to find us. And we are clear to leave the combat area once the missiles explode. This one is locking onto that Yukon. Yukon. Something, ooh. I think, did one of our missiles fail? Impact. Okay. Sierra 4 is hit. Sierra 7 is the only one who has survived thus far. Ooh, we may have to we have to, may have to send a follow up here. Okay, one missile failed, three impacts. Interesting. Okay, come back up. Come back up to missile depth. Yeah, we gotta be above 60 feet. Come up to 50 feet. We'll fire uh, fire one more towards the last ship. Has managed to survive. Managed to escape. We are now at an acceptable depth of 49 feet. Let's go ahead and fire 2-5. Five. Two, five. There we go, 2-5 is away. TASM is away. Uh, I think that may have been an aircraft. <laughs> nice and close to us. Let's drop down. Oh, that sure is. That helicopter does have a pretty good idea of where we are, unfortunately. That's okay. Hopefully our TASM ends up hitting the target and finishing this off. Quite a few sonar buoys in the area. Let's change course. New heading, 105. 105. Hello, airplane. And while I'm thinking, while I'm worried about it, might as well just start loading a moss along with all of our torpedoes here. Should be closing in on the target. We have had a torpedo drop down upon us. Retract the towed array. Noisemaker! All ahead flank. Where is that thing? Two torpedoes in the water. Okay, got it. Alright, 35 knots. Let's start moving. Knuckle, 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 knuckle. Come on, baby. Just gotta get up to speed here. Dropping down. Okay, we hit our friend. Unfortunately, I have other things to handle right now. Another knuckle formed. Drop down rapidly. Decoy. Knuckle. Come on. How's that thing still on us? Knuckle. Come on. Knuckle. It's still on me? Are you kidding me? Damage control. Hole's fine. 86%. We got some flooding. At least we got Sierra 7. Man, that is that is frustrating. What, three knuckles and it didn't throw that torpedo off? That's okay. We'll be just fine. We'll have to deal with some flooding here, but hole's at 86%. Nothing's destroyed.
Okay, we are up at Periscope Depth. We have pumped out all the water, and we are now clear to leave the combat area. Hull's at 86%, so a kind of minor damage there. The proximity fuse must have exploded quite far away, which is nice. Okay, let's leave combat. There we go. We sunk everything. 18,000 tons. Did take some damage, unfortunately, but that's okay. Good job. Pleased to hear the expected invasion of Scarborough Shoal in the South China Sea has been repelled. New orders to be transmitted on this downlink. Perfect. Gotcha. Scarborough Shoal, South China Sea. A massive coordinated Chinese sea-based landing has been repelled. A DoD spokesperson said that a combination of hard fighting by defending troops and prior significant weakening of the invasion force by U.S. naval units contributed to averting the disaster and defeat. There we go. Love to see it. Continue on. What are our, our next orders? Uh, enemy at sea replenishment tankers once again. Small enemy force, including one or two of these ships, is expected to sail from Ningbo momentarily for a rendezvous somewhere in the East China Sea or order to find and sink this group. You may also get a chance at enemy warships. Okay, we can definitely do that. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's episode. I do hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.